Well, retail conglomerate Premier Investments has announced plans to demerge its stationary business, Smiggle, by the end of January of 2025. Joining me now is our business reporter, Edward Boyd. Ed, Premier's Chairman Solomon Liu has decided to break up the business. Why? Well, he thinks it's going to unlock more value for the company. This was a strategic review announced almost a year ago at the profit results uh, about nine months ago where they decided, look, we're going to take a look at the business. We're going to see if some of our brands can be split off. Because remember, Premier Investments is a big retail conglomerate. Not only does it have the stationary brand Smiggle, it's also got Peter Alexander, uh, the pyjama brand. It's also got Just Jeans, Dotty, JJ's, a whole range of retail businesses there under the umbrella of Premier Investments. And for a long time, some of those companies have been growing better and posting better sales than others. And Smiggle has really been one of the standouts of Premier Investments over the last five or six years. So it's got about 305 stores around the world. And the plan now is by the end of January 2025 to have that as its own business on the stock market. And then Peter Alexander, by the end of 2025, they're planning to also spin that off into its own ASX listed company. So you could see by this time next year, Smiggle on the stock market and big plans for Peter Alexander as well. So a bit of a shake up here in the retail space for the Australian retail market. Yeah, sure. Uh, what about the latest consumer confidence numbers? They've been released and it lifted last week. This is due to uh, the RBA softening its language around rates? Yes, yeah, so this is the ANZ consumer confidence numbers. They come out each week and for the last couple of months really confidence has been slowly creeping down and down. But you can see here this is future financial conditions uh, which is one of the things people get assessed on when it comes to confidence. That's actually lifted and ANZ say it's due to the press conference that Michelle Bullock hosted last week where she basically said we believe interest rates are now at their peak in Australia and the next movement is going to be down. This is consumer confidence going back to 2014. You can see um, it got pretty low there around 2020 and 2023, but it is now slowly going back up. But that dotted red line is the, is the normal average level for confidence. So we're still a long way off that point. Uh, but confidence <laughs> slowly creeping back due to the likelihood of interest rates, the next movement being down rather than up, Laura. And just a quick question without notice, if you will, Ed. Obviously, this was a big decision out of Victoria on Crown being deemed suitable to maintain its licence there. Will there be much market movement? movement today. What are you expecting? Well, Crown now is actually owned by Blackstone, the US giant investment uh -huh. conglomerate. So they're not on the stock market anymore. Uh, we're hoping Crown is actually going to do a press conference today to talk about it. Obviously, it's a massive move for them to be found suitable to hold their casino licence in the state of Victoria. Uh, the, the, the company that is still listed is The Star, and they've had a big uh -huh. executive shake-up over the weekend. That could potentially be a small share market price impact on the star, but the Crown will be OK um, and obviously a big move for them getting their licence reapproved. Yeah, absolutely. Ed, thanks so much for that. Appreciate it.